What is up guys, Chris here from Bear Market Mining. So today we are looking at the 7950X. We are going to be overclocking the thing, looking at BIOS settings, hash rates, CPU temperatures, uh, different GPU combinations, pretty much everything you're gonna need to know if you're looking at getting one of these and uh, testing out Warthog yourself or any other CPU mining algorithms. So first, let's start with a, a quick look at the parts. Then we'll get into the hash rate testing and we'll summarize it all at the end so you can leave the video with all the information you need. Let's go. All right, first up, we've got the motherboard, the Asus Prime B650M-A Wi-Fi 2. Um, an AM5 socket motherboard, which we need for our CPU. Now this was one of the cheaper motherboards I could find um, in this build for Warthog specifically, and, and generally CPU mining all over. Um, what type of motherboard you've got um, is not gonna make a huge difference. So we've gone for a cheapy there. Um, next up, we've got, of course, the, uh, let's get that in there. The 7950X uh, Ryzen 9 uh, CPU. So this thing's a beast. Um, one of, if not the best um, CPUs on the market. So that's going to be nice. Same again. Um, we've seen these fans before. If you've watched my previous builds, um, the Assassin Spirit uh, 120 V2 Plus. These things are beast. 66 or so CFM, the dual fan. Haven't had any issues with any of my 5900Xs or other builds. This thing's kept them super, super cool. Some of the lesser um, important components, we've just got um, DDR5 RAM. So if you can see that, bit bright, but you get the gist. Um, what is it? 4800 megahertz, eight gigabyte once again, nice and cheap. Um, not gonna be a huge issue. RAM is not gonna bottleneck our CPU in this case for Warthog. And finally, just a uh, just an SSD. I pulled off an old uh, build. This is like a one terabyte, so massively overkill for what we need. But uh, it's all we had spare. And in the uh, the spirit of saving money, we've just thought we'd throw that on. So I won't uh, go through the whole build. Um, I've done that multiple times. If you're interested in seeing how to build a motherboard, I've got a few previous videos on that. So check them all out on the channel. Um, if you want to know how to set this all up. So I'll get this built and uh, then we'll jump into uh, the BIOS and we'll start looking at some of the settings because there are a few different things you need to do like curve optimizers for this 7950X and a few other little tweaks. So we'll get that built and uh, get it booted up and get moving. All right, so in HiveOS, so we've uh, we've put these two 3060s on for the testing and we've gone the, uh, the very lowest eco mode. So it's only pulling 65 watts at TDP. Um, so we can see at the top, 54.21 uh, mega hash is what it can get, but we're only getting 41.25, 42-ish. So pulling about 600 mega hash on these two uh, 3060s, 3060 12 gigabytes, which is about the same as my 3070s on a 5900X and less than the 3090. So what we might do now, we'll, uh, we'll either put, I think we'll put two 3070s on it next, in fact, what we'll do first is we'll kick that uh, kick that eco mode up to the 105 watts and see what happens. So we have pumped up uh, that TDP to 105 watts now. This has been running for about five minutes. We have gained um, some hash rate, as you can see, but it did peak up. The mega hash did jump up to about 750 at one point, and now it's dropped back down. So I'm I'm wondering if these uh, 3060s are just maxed out. Interestingly, I'm finding that one of these um, graphics cards always runs at a lot lower power than the other. So I'm not sure if that's if that's Warthog, if that's the system itself. But it it does it on um, a couple of my other rigs as well. You know significant power difference more so than if i was just running them on gpu rigs which is unusual and same again different brands maybe it's just a uh, well, placebo is not the right word but you know what i'm saying so strangely enough not a huge uh, hash rate increase so next up we're going to swap these 3060s out and we're going to chuck a couple of 3070s on and see how that goes we'll leave the um eco mode at 105 watts for now and uh, check it. Look, this CPU temp's a lot higher than my other 5900Xs, but AMD says that 
these CPUs can run at these temperatures 24 seven, no issues. So I'm not too concerned about that temperature just yet, but we'll shut it down, throw the 3070s on and see what we get. All right, 3070s are on and uh, oh, it's just dropped back down looking much better. It's still calibrating only two minutes up so far, but 875 mega hash we're getting out of that. So that's pretty nice. We'll definitely take that. Not sure why oh, one of my fans isn't working on that 3070. That is why no issues there. So we'll give that another minute. Let it sort of calibrate again and see where we're up to. So it seems to be floating around the 780 to 800 uh, mega hash so far with the 2370. So big improvement, definitely. I might now drop this back down to the 65 watt eco mode and see if that makes a difference. Something definitely going on here with these with this this power. I'm I'm not sure what that is, but uh. We'll do a bit of dig and see if we can figure that out. So we'll swap back to the 65 uh, watt eco mode and see what sort of difference that makes. Okay, so after much messing around, we have decided to swap that 30, the two 3070s out for a 3090. For some reason, one of the PCIe slots on the motherboard itself, it just wasn't giving full power to one of the uh, one of the graphics cards. Now I looked all through the BIOS settings. Um, the PCIe lanes, the only options were auto, so I couldn't make them all X16. Maybe it's in there, maybe it's not, but for now we've stuck with the 3090. Do a 943 mega hash. It's jumping from about 850 to 950 at the moment, which is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Pretty happy with that. But this is, a, I mean, it's on eco mode 65 watts, but for some reason this software is reading 89. So I might go up to the 105 watts and see what it does to the temperature. Now, like I said, 70 degrees is supposed to be fine with these, but I'm just not sure. So we'll, um, we'll adjust that and we'll be right back. All right, so eco mode 105 watts. I've also uh, enabled DOCM, which is the uh, basically overclocking the RAM as well, which is said to help a tiny bit. This is sort of fluctuating between 950 um, to just over a giga hash at the moment. It says it's pulling 144 watts. I don't know why that is the case. Maybe that includes the motherboard itself as well. I'm not too sure, but I mean, the eco mode says 105 watt max, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Last thing we want to try is um, turn that eco mode off and just manually overclock uh, the core voltage ourselves just to drop this temperature a little bit. Um, I did try go down to one earlier and it just crashed. So we might try 1.1 and see if we can find a happy medium between temperature and hash rate. And then I think we'll, uh, we'll leave it there once we've made a decision. Okay, so we did uh, try and manually uh, overclock that, not overclock, sorry, adjust that core voltage ourselves, but it didn't really do much um, for the power usage. So for anyone using this board and you're watching this video, uh, you can thank me later because the eco modes, for some reason, they wouldn't take. Um, if I set it to 65 watts, it wouldn't stay at 65 watts, 105 watts. Um, it would boost up to about 140 and it was, I mean, look, like I said, 70 degrees should be fine, but I would rather keep them cooler. So how you want to do this in this BIOS um, is you want to manually set your TDP or PPT for AMD cards. Now that will be in a measurement of millivolts. So uh, 100 watts is 100,000 milliwatts. So you can see we're sitting at right around that 100 watts now, which is what we like. And we're jumping from anywhere from sort of 870 to 970 mega hash, which is which is really nice. Now, I've set my fan curves to not even go up to 100% until 62. So I think what we're going to do finally is we're going to um, we're going to pump this power up another 10 watts and then uh, see what the temperature is. Should be fine, I'm imagining. And uh, and I think that might be it. So let's do that quickly now and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get the results for you. All right, and this is where we'll leave it for now. I think it's been up for about 10 minutes, should have stabilized somewhat. Um, bouncing around between 900 to 950 
uh, mega hash. This will probably jump down shortly. So I did increase that TDP up to 105. It's reading 107 there, but we'll take that. CPUs under 60 degrees. Fans are not at 100% yet. So pretty happy um, with where that is at the moment after a couple of hours of messing around and tweaking. Um, I think we'll take that. Look, I could squeeze a little bit more out of it, but there's no point. I'm happy with that. Look, one CPU and uh, one uh, GPU is getting, you know, 200 more mega hash than uh, than all my other rigs. I got two 3070s on here. Another one with two 3070s, 3070, uh, 3080, 4070, all pretty self-explanatory there. So, yeah, really happy. Took the uh, took the time to get that right. Glad we finally got there in the end because it was a a bit of a mess around. All right, so let's summarize what we found. So that 7950X is on BZ minor version 21.1.3 B3, the beta version. Now it does jump up and down a little bit compared to 21.1.1, uh, which all my other rigs are on, but I found for this 7950X in particular, um, that the better version was better, <laughs> pun intended. Um, so that's what we've stuck with for now. The 3090 was by far the best GPU to have on there. Like I said, couldn't figure out the issue with having multiple GPUs on there. If someone knows what's going on, let me know. But as far as our overclocks for that, pretty standard. I've said in my previous videos, I use uh, Pyron Hash as a baseline and that works pretty well for all of them. So the core offset 150, core clock 1600, and the memory clock 810. Um, I use that on that memory on all of my GPUs on Warthog. Now, some people use 5000, 5001. I haven't seen any difference, so 810 it is. Uh, the DOCM or Expo or XMP, um, whatever you've got on your uh, motherboard for overclocking your RAM, that was enabled. I didn't notice a huge difference, but uh, I'm told that it will make some difference. So it's on um, the power package tracking or PPT or TDP, whatever you've got on your particular motherboard. I set at 105 watts. This was so we, as we said, we could keep the, uh, the temperatures a bit cooler. Now, if you were to get, say, a 360 mil IAO, um, something really top quality that can keep this thing even cooler, you could. Um, put that even higher because there is a fair bit of power left um, not being used with this CPU. So it, it's got a TDP or PPT of 170 watts, I believe. So if you can keep it cool enough, you can probably push a fair bit more out of it, but I'm happy with where it's at. Now the curve optimizer, we stayed with negative five. I did drop this down to negative 30. Um, and gave that a go, but because we have a power limit set, I didn't think it would make much difference. Um, what I did find was that it started giving me a few extra um, rejected shares at the start. So we just went back to negative five, was happy with that. And I didn't notice much of a hash rate increase with a, a an even higher or lower in this case, um, curve optimizer. And I also added, uh, enabled ASUS Performance Enhancement, which basically just, um, you know, tweaks the uh, the memory and the CPU slightly. So did notice a tiny difference, hard to tell, it's bouncing around a lot, um, but that's what we've stuck with for now. So really happy with that. And if you guys have uh, better overclocks or something for me to try, please leave them down in the comments. Um, I've only been using this CPU for less than 24 hours at this point so I'm, I'm pretty keen to keep tweaking a bit more if you guys have got some good suggestions but that's what we're working with that's what i found was the most stable for my setup um, so we're going to stick with that for now and and see how that goes well into the future that is going to wrap it up guys after many hours of uh tweaking and messing around learning that new bios and uh, a new cpu i think we got there in the end very happy with uh with what it's uh, hashing at the moment sitting around probably an average of 900 so i think that's probably as much as we can get at this stage if we want to keep it cool um but i'll keep you guys posted on uh, on any further tweaks i make just so you can uh you can learn along with me. So if you like the video, guys, make sure you like it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.